six through 12. Mr. Chapman does a better job than I do explaining it, so I'm going to let him start. Oh, wow, now you put the pressure on. I know, okay, I know. so basically, when you look at the IB Learner Profile, these are a series of nine attributes that all of IB wants to grow and encourage in their students. And it's not just the diploma for 11th and 12th and the middle years for 6 through 10. It's actually there's a primary years program that we don't have for like kindergarten through 5. And if you look at this list of attributes, it's pretty heady stuff. You know, balanced, open-minded, principled, reflective, thinkers, communicators, um, uh, what am I missing here, risk takers. And I want you to, whenever we're doing things in class, we have these at the back of our minds. Now, it's not like you get a score for this. Oh, you get a four out of five for being open-minded today. Good job. But as we're putting units together, as we're planning classes, we have these goals for what we want students to be, for what type of people we want them to be. Because these are things that aren't easily quantified, but they're important to have. So for example, as a Japanese teacher, when I do the unit on family words, we start with the very basic family. How do you say mother, father, sister, brother, or, you know, all of those things in Japanese. And we talked about Japanese families and our families, but one of the things that we always go back to is being open-minded and recognizing the fact that families in Japan might not look like they do here, and your family might not look like your family. And being able to describe the differences in Japanese is an important first step in this. And so I think that's always at the back of the mind. And at the start, Mr. Riemann, was it Mr. Riemann or Dr. Walters, was talking about some of the great places that our students are going, you know, Penn, full ride to Columbia, Cornell, full ride to pre-med for Drexel, you know, CMU. And a lot of that is due to the fact that our students fit this profile. It's not just that they have the knowledge that they need to do well on the test. They're balanced and they were able to take care of all the different responsibilities and things that go into being an IB student and just an educated person in the world today. So as you go through, just keep in mind that this is kind of the real ultimate goal. Uh, and one of the things I think is interesting about this, and it's, it's kind of uh, pointed for right now, is that a lot after the uh, financial collapse, a lot of business schools started offering business ethics courses for the first time. So you know, you were a business major before, and it was how do you make as much money as possible and destroy the world. And now it's how do you make as much money as possible and not bankrupt humanity. So, you know, it's, it's something that IB's been doing for a long time, and I think that that's kind of a, an interesting perspective. And what this does is that I always explain to people that our kids are interesting people. They really are. Um, they're not a typical kid. They don't talk about, I mean, they still talk about the typical kid stuff, but they know about things that other kids their age don't know about because of the program, because of how we do things, and because of... Uh, one of the courses that we'll talk about here in a few minutes. And, and, and I just really enjoy our kids. I think that they're very interesting people. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud of most all of them. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> um, and to say that they not only have the knowledge that other people, that other students don't have, but the skills. And full disclosure, my daughter's here as a seventh grader. And there was a party at my house the other day, and there were all kinds of people there. And I was in the kitchen, and I came out. And she was talking to this adult about books. And not just, yeah, I like the book. You know, it was like, oh yeah, well I really like that little plot twist at the end, and I thought they developed the characters really well, and they were having a back and forth, and it, she wasn't coming across as pretentious, no, I'm biased, I know, but she wasn't coming across as pretentious, and the, the, you know, the adult was making comments back and forth, and it wasn't like she ever got a class where, oh hey, nine out of 10 for conversational skills. You know, but she just had the wherewithal to tie what she had read in that book to the bigger picture, and that was in seventh grade. You know, and a lot of those skills she developed, I know, over the sixth and seventh grade time here. And so I think, you know, sometimes, especially now in education, we focus very much on this test and how well you do on this test. And so much of this is the broader picture. And now I think you'll talk about yeah. the end. Yes. I'm going to talk about the end, the diploma program. That's 11 and 12.